Well, Paris, welcome to MK Dons. How pleased are you to get this deal done and, and, and sort your future out for the rest of the season? Thank you. Thank you for the welcome. Um, I think for me, obviously, coming to a big club like this, it's um it's a good it's a good test for me it's a good challenge um and I'm sure it'll be a very good um experience for me also. When did you first hear that MK Dons were interested? You? Obviously, I know you returned to Brentford this, yeah. this month, and when did you first hear that MK Dons wanted to bring you here? And, and how quickly did it, did it move to to get you to this point where you're, you're here signing? I think I think for me the, the the step I wanted to take was obviously to come to a club that that plays football, um, that try to play and and, and are trying to move forward. Um, and I think I think when MK Dons came to me, it was like it was a no, it was a no brain of with the interest from other clubs. This was this was always like the eye catching one out for me because they play how I like to play. So it was always it was always going to be MK Dons. Yeah. Did your brother have have a part to play in it, Jax? <laughs> I know he's I know he's only been here a short while, but uh, obviously he's joined the academy in yeah. a, in a coaching capacity. Uh, did you have a few chats with him just about his early impressions? Yeah, I think um, when obviously MK Dons came forward and like. Because he's also at the club as well. He was he was buzzing. He was like, you have to come. He was like, they suit the way you play, and you'll be a good fit for them. So I think it was just it was just the best thing. And it saves on lifts as well, doesn't it? Yeah, you get a lift nah, with him. Nah. <laughs> um, but you know, you talked about the opportunity to step up and not only you know, come into a team that, that plays the way we do. You know, attacking on the ball, yeah. possession based, but a chance for you to step up and play League One football, which I know is part of your development to get to where you want to get to. It's a chance to step up at, at this level. Yeah. Um, Obviously, playing six months in League Two, and now obviously making a step up to League One, it's going to be a different experience. It's going to be harder. There's going to be better players um, that you have to compete against, better players that you're playing with. So um, it will definitely be, it will definitely be a big challenge. But I'm definitely looking forward to it. And some big teams. I mean, we still got some yeah. big teams coming up. Yeah. You know, Sheffield Wednesdays, the Ipswiches. You know, yeah. some big clubs and some big atmospheres. And, and obviously coming to a team that's you know at the wrong end of the table, but a team that's fighting, and there's going to be some you know big high pressure moments coming up, and all that's going to be part of your experience as well, isn't it? Yeah, of course. I think I think we have to. The best thing for us to do is probably to stay together, um, don't get onto each other, just keep our motivation, and just try to reach our, our goal. Um, we have to we have to stay together as a team, as a club, um, so we can obviously try and perform out on the pitch. If we're together, it will make it easier to be on the pitch and then to succeed, you know? Definitely. And I know Mark, the, the head coach, is, is, is eager for you to come in here. What have your early conversations with, with him been like? And, and what's he asked from you between now and the end of the season? No, they've been good. Like, we've, we've spoke about the style of play, like I mentioned earlier, um, and what he wants me to do, where he wants me to play, how he wants me to do this and stuff. Um, so the conversations we've been, have, have been good, and I'm really, I'm really looking forward to it. So for fans that haven't had a chance to see you play before, what type of player are you? And that's a tough question, but <laughs> if, you can, if you can describe yourself as best you can. Um, for me, I, I don't know, man. Like, I can run forward. I like to get on the ball, try to make things happen. Um, I try to be a bit exciting, but at the same time, um, for me, I think hard work so it's a, it's a given. So you have to do the stuff um, when you're not on the ball the same way you've got to do the stuff when you're on the ball. I think that would be music to Mark Jackson's ears because I know he spoke a lot about the out-of-possession stuff. Um, and we've briefly been outside to look at the pitch as a player who wants to run and get forward and, and drive forward. You know, a big pitch to do big that. Pitch, big pitch, beautiful pitch. Um, and it'll be, it'll, be, it'll be nice to get on there tomorrow, um, hopefully. Um, and, then, and then just get a real taste of it. And, you know, part of the, you know, the, the coming in in January is you're straight into games, back-to-back yeah. uh, -back home games this week, um, plenty of games after that. So, yeah, you must be eager to, well, first of all, meet your teammates and get training, yeah, but um, to, to get involved in the games. Yeah, no, I think, um, especially because it's two home games, I think it'll be easier for me to settle in and, and be more comfortable with the environment, obviously getting to know the teammates a bit better in training and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, no, looking forward to